You're listening to Chaos Radio with Mirage and Jay Shocking. This is Up FM 107.5. All right, all right, guys. Welcome back to Chaos Radio. Mirage and Jay Shocking here with you. And on the phone, it is my absolute pleasure to have one of the rising young talents in the Australian hard dance scene and a lady who will be gracing the decks at Flipside next weekend at Area 6. All the way from Sydney, it is my pleasure to introduce the lovely X-Dream. Can you hear me? Yeah, how you doing? Not too bad tonight. How are you? Yeah, wicked, wicked. Just ready to play in Melbourne, so pretty pumped. Awesome. I hear a bit of a sneezing going on. You got a bit of a cold or something? Um, no. <laughs> no, no? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it's just my voice. <laughs> oh, that's all good, all good. Oh, well, let's crack into it. Let's talk about... um your DJ career so far. Now, you began in the dance scene as a stage dancer, I believe. Um, how did yeah, the, my whole... Yeah? Uh, how did the transition to DJing come about? Oh, yeah, my whole life has been like a choreographer and dancer. Ever since I can remember, I was like four years old, like listening to dance music, um, teaching all my friends, all my little choreographed dances, and just performing from like friends and family, and then up through school, and then through dance classes through school and school like big big productions and then yeah I went out to my first club when I was 17 <laughs> whoops <laughs> and ended up seeing Archie play for the first time in Canberra and he was just playing some amazing hard trance and just looking around the room and watching people dance and seeing how amazing everybody felt just through this hard trance and through expressing themselves through dance music and that's when I flipped like instead of me dancing in front of people I want to make people dance and see people dance and see people feel the music like how I feel it. It was just, yeah, that's how it flipped. I just want to make people dance. Awesome. And how long have you been doing Jane for now? Um, eight years now. Oh. Yeah, coming on eight years. Nice, nice. Now, um, if dancing is your passion but you love making people dance as well, if you had to choose between the two, DJing or dancing, which one would it be? Oh, it's such, such a tough question, hey. Um... If I literally had to choose, it would have to be dancing because there's nothing like, there's no feeling like dancing when you lose yourself through the music. As long as they're amazing tunes, obviously. Exactly. <laughs> you lose yourself through the music just dancing. And it's no fun DJing nothing when you're not... like it. No, it's no, to be dancing. <laughs> and it's no fun DJing when you're not dancing yourself behind the decks, is it? Yeah, I can't help it. I'll be up there <laughs> dancing anyway, so... Or maybe I could pick DJing, so I'll be dancing to my favourite <laughs> tracks anyway. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now, is there any story behind the name X Dream? Um, well, first of all, I was going to, because my name's Jamie Lee, so my first choice was it's going to be DJ Lee, like DJ Lee, everyone calls me Jay, so DJ Lee. But then oh, there was Megara and DJ Lee who had a few tracks by, and I was like, damn, can't call myself that. So I was thinking, thinking for a while, trying to think of some stuff, and then Extreme just came up, and there are a few sort of weird coincidences there was a shop called Granny Maze and then it changed its name to Extreme like the next day and then the Extreme KFC <laughs> it all came out and then there was this Extreme trailer like a RAV4 I, I can't remember which car it was by but yeah this Extreme car came out and it was all like a matter of giving one week so I thought alright that's a bit of a sign and then yeah the spelling was just like me sort of chasing my dream like my dream to make people dance and like it's a pretty extreme lifestyle so yeah it all just came together uh, universe giving you signs huh yeah it was i think awesome. it was it was just signs everywhere i had to take it <laughs> so you're now based in sydney is that right yep yep for about four years now okay but you've been playing all over australia where have you been traveling recently it's been pretty wild um the last few years there's been um Perth, Darwin, Brisbane, Brisbane a heap of times actually, Brisbane's rocking, um, Melbourne a few times, and Newcastle and Tari and Canberra, and yeah, it's pretty, pretty much been everywhere, I haven't hit Tassie yet, which <laughs> which will be exciting, but pretty much all over Australia, I'm like, feel heaps privileged and heaps happy to be playing and just seeing how the crowd is around, around our country, like, it's really good just seeing the energy around. Awesome, and you're playing in Melbourne tonight, that's right? Yep, playing in five hours <laughs> oh, down at Melbourne, so that'll be rocking and pumped for that. I haven't played here in about two years, so I'm really excited. Oh, I'm sure they'll love you over there. And um, you've also recently broken the foreign barrier. You played at the Bionic Festival in the UK. What was that like? 
absolutely amazing hey bionic is such a huge label and i couldn't believe it when they asked me to be on the lineup and the crowd and the energy and like it was just amazing there in australia you know there's lots of shufflers there's lots of gathers there's lots of particular styles of dancing that people practice and shit but um over there it was just all these people feeling the music dancing differently everyone was just in their own zone and so it was really refreshing just to see everyone feeling different music in their own sort of way and everyone was screaming and loving it the whole set it was just yeah it was wicked energy it was really refreshing to just see thousands of new people that i've never seen before it was really cool awesome and do you have any more international bookings coming up other than auckland next weekend of course um yeah so new zealand next weekend which i'm really excited about and then, so in March, I've got, it's sort of hot off the press, <laughs> I've got a CD coming out in March, April, which is going to be going worldwide. So there's going to be probably a fair bit of UK gigs and probably up there in a bit of Europe as well. So it's going to be really exciting. No exact dates yet, but we'll be playing at Bionic again and then hitting a few more places around the UK and Wales. And then... Yeah, probably Ibiza and maybe Switzerland and, yeah, a few more that we're just in the middle of talking about. So really excited to just see what the, what the other side of the world's like, really, see how they like it. Awesome, awesome. And this CD you've got coming out, that's all original productions, is it? Um, there'll be a few original ones and a few new ones that aren't out yet that we're just in the middle of. But there'll probably be four, probably four extreme tracks. Two of them collaborations with, like, Joshie and Shop Force, but then... Um, I'm going to have two of them of my own, which will be released by then. I'm just in the middle of them now. Awesome, awesome. And when you're making these tracks, um, whether it's by yourself, with Yoshi, with um, Shock Force, who I know you spent studio time with in the UK recently, um, what's your primary source of inspiration with these tracks? What do you want them to do when you play them out on the dance floor? The inspiration, uh, like eight years ago, Hard Trance was just, um, like when I first sort of came into the scene, eight or ten years ago, Hard Trance was just, absolutely amazing the melodies the intensity there was so much emotion and depth behind the actual work behind it and a lot of my artists have either went a bit too techy or a bit too hard hard style or a bit too trancy so i just want to bring back that old hard trance sound that made me lose it on the dance floor so trying to bring back that old feeling but obviously you know with some new with some new kicks and some new bits in there but that's pretty much my inspiration just trying to share with people what I first felt when I came into the scene. Oh, that sounds good. I'm uh, sure we'll see plenty of it next weekend. Um, I just want to speak more generally a little bit about the um, just the hard dance scene in Australia. Um, you've got a bunch of uh, sorry, a bunch of big German trance producers that have been coming out recently. You've got Nomad. Uh, you've got Steve Hill in Sydney, obviously. You've got um, on a more techie vibe. You've got Josh Lang. You've got BRK3, and they're all coming out and they're doing really, really well on the world stage. What do you think it is about this big style of music that's made it so popular for you guys over the ditch? Well, I'm so happy it's back and strong again because for a few years there, it sort of went down a bit. And I'm just happy it's back because it's so uplifting. But the energy, it smiles everywhere. There's nothing aggressive about it. It's all just uplifting, driving hard trance energy. Everyone's looking around, smiling, like dancing all night. I think that's probably... Yeah, sort of the main reason why it's so popular and why it's so fun, so everyone loves it. But yeah, it's just so good to see the Australian artists finally pushing through, because for a while there, there was really not many Australian producers getting out in the scene, but now, yeah, as you said, we've got Nomad, Josh Lane, Break Free, Steve Hill, Yossi, um, Hard Force, and like, I'm really starting to get into the producing, and so are a lot of my friends, so it's really good to see Australia start to push themselves and really sort of show the rest of the world like where we're at as well that's awesome I know a lot of the big um, DJs that come down and play in Australia and after they, afterwards they come here they're always like Australia's cranking it's cranking so yeah we got to get over there and party I think now um, hey man come over <laughs> oh definitely definitely now I was actually um, chatting with Steve Hill last weekend when he played down in Wellington and I've been told that we're in for a little bit of a treat when we have you over here next week uh, what kind of surprises can we expect from an extreme set all right, well, the name sort of might say it a bit for itself. My energy is a bit extreme because I can't help dancing up there. Like, I love my music. Like, I, I create my sets to 
be the best dance do or for me anyway hopefully they are for other people as well but like to dance do I just think it's the most intense hard driving like it's stuff that makes me lose it on the dance floor so I hope it makes other people lose it and then yeah so just energy and dancing and lots of capellas and I like to just add my own my own acapellas my own sounds my own samples to other songs just to make it a little bit more of me so yeah that's pretty much just energy dancing and some scratching and sampling and acapellas. Oh, that I sounds... I with the crowd. I just love seeing the crowd dance. That just drives me harder. I love it. Awesome. Well, that sounds like heaps of fun. All right, now I'm... I can't wait to meet everyone over there. Uh-huh. Now you've got a website up, is that right? Um, yes, I really need to update it. <laughs> I've just been so busy at the moment. I just got back from overseas and there's been lots of travelling and lots of sorting out with this new CD. But yeah, um, it's www.djextreme.com.au and I'll be putting up my new version of To Myself, which is by me and Shockforce. I've got my original version up there, but the new remix of me and Shockforce, which comes out in about a week or two on Track It Down. It's going to be, yeah, I'm really excited about that and it's my vocals and it's my lyrics. So I'm getting into the vocal side of it as well. So I'm going to be doing some live performances where I'm doing the vocals like while I'm DJing and stuff as well. Awesome. So, yeah, really excited to do all that. Oh, sure, we'll, we'll be playing that track here on the show for you as well. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. As soon as it's released, you'll get it sent. <laughs> awesome. All right, now just before we let you go, can you do one little thing for us? Can you give us a little no bit problem. of a... Yeah, give us a little bit of a sting. You're, this is Extreme and you're on Up FM. Hi, this is DJ Extreme and you're listening to Up FM. Awesome, awesome. Thanks a lot for talking to us tonight, eh? Pleasure. Looking forward to hearing some of your stuff. Awesome. And have a good gig tonight in Melbourne. We'll see you next week. We'll do. Can't wait. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks. Bye.